right everyone i just wanted to make a quick visual demonstration of stock radiator location c5 c6 and front splitter um you see a lot of people running splitters and the radiator in a stock location which is essentially tilted back um so here's the hood here's our inlet this is the same for C5 and C6 and C6Z, believe it or not. So this will be a Z car. Stock radiator locations like this, right? Here's our duct, right? Here's our air box. Okay. Factory. Both C5 and C6, regardless bottom or front breather, have an air dam. What this does is the air comes in, in this case C6Z, the air comes in. We have high pressure in, but now with the air dam, we have a large pressure differential from A to B, right? So it allows the air to come out in the space that the air dam is leaving, right? When we put a splitter on, it's counterintuitive to, to put a big old dude on here, right? Counterintuitive to put this here, which would create front lift. So what happens is, is yes, you still have the high pressure here, but you do not give the airflow an easy way to get out, right? And that's a conundrum. And again, you can do it. People are doing it. I've done it. But the fan runs its tail off. And if you don't have a powerful enough fan, the car will overheat. So in the case of the C5, same deal, right? Here's the C5 bumper. There's our duct. Same thing, right? It's our bumper. So our radiator. It also has an air dam, right? Bottom breather, air comes in, pressure differential A to B, air goes out. When you put a splitter on, right? Same deal. Put an air dam on and your overheating problems will go away. The only way to fix this is to lay your radiator forward. What this does now is it allows the air to come in. We seal the bottom off. We have our big mongrel splitter, right? Everything's good. We have our radiator shroud. Got a big old fan pack on there. Actually, you don't even need a fan if you do it right. And the air comes in and it goes out the hood. You do need a hood exit, right? You'll need uh, whatever. Uh, track spec vents, race, race louvers, uh, a chimney. You don't necessarily need a duct, right? An exit duct is worth significant downforce because now it isolates uh, high pressure from underneath the hood. But uh, you don't need it in order to keep the car cool, right? So when you see us at G-Speed, we won't sell you just our splitter. And the reason is, is because the car will overheat. And in order to mount the splitter, we also supply the cradle. Uh, it's not a flimsy deal. It's a properly made TIG welded tube steel structure to support the added load from running the big splitter. And so if you want the splitter, unfortunately you have to buy the cradle. And if you want the cradle, you can only have it with the radiator down. So anyway, a uh, quick tutorial on why the air dam is necessary in stock radiator location and splitters and why we want to sell them like that. So like I said, you can run it like that. You can race them like that. I have, I've had success. I've overheated cars and learned that that was a problem. So uh, just from my time in the GM wind tunnel with the Corvette team, it was very brief, 2005, Tom Frawling, we had a good time. Um, there's also people that ask questions about the little ducks in front of the tires. Okay, if we're doing a top-down view, we're looking at the air dam. This is forward, right? This is the wheels. Okay, here's our front axle. These dudes, right? Those are for fuel economy. They create lift. You can remove those. You'll gain downforce or reduce lift if you remove those. Air dam, good. Leave the air dam on. Gas mileage savers go away. Happy Saturday.